and welcome to my channel. Today is another episode of Will I Buy It? Or Would I Buy It? If I could and had the resources, would I buy this product? In some cases, I actually buy the products, but in most cases, I will not buy, be buying everything. So the Will I Buy It series was created by Samantha March. Samantha March and other content creators follow a few Instagram posts, such as Trend Mood One, which is who I follow for this series. There are others, um, a more independent label that showcases independent releases, but I focus on Trend Mood One and the releases that they post about. Trend Mood One talks about any makeup or beauty releases. And so in an effort to keep this video shorter, I only go through Trend Mood 1. I also only post every other week where other content creators might be posting every single week. I do film this on Sundays to post on Tuesdays. So anything that has been uploaded from the last time that I see Trend Mood 1 up until then won't be mentioned in this video and I'll be showcased in the following Would I Buy It? Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and ring that notification bell. You'll be notified of my weekly uploads, including this look. This look should be up on Friday. I have a series of four looks using one palette and this is look number four. So if you wanna see how I created this look, definitely stick around and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can see that video on Friday. But the list of products that I've used are listed down below. So at least you'll have that information until then. Let me move my chair over so we can leave space so that we can uh, showcase the posts. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Okay, I know I'm looking like a colorful peacock today with yellow and flowers and colorful eyes, but we're just gonna have to roll with this together. So this first post is very exciting, for me anyways. I love NARS. I have always had a love for NARS. And so this is a new collection that includes an eyeshadow palette with nine shades of mattes and shimmers and a face powder duo. It has that beautiful gold packaging. Wow, it is beautiful. Now, I love NARS, but I generally do not purchase any of their new releases. Unless it's a non-limited edition product, like it's a new foundation, so it'll be around for a while, then I, I tend to purchase it. But Things like this that seem like it'll be a limited run, I tend not to want to purchase, but that packaging, oh man, it has my heart. And so I have to think really hard because I, I want, I want this for the packaging. And so I don't know if I want the face palette more or if I want the eyeshadow palette more. A part of me is leaning more towards the face palette, but would I buy this? Yes, absolutely. I would buy both if I could. Will I? Maybe one of the two. Are they both $49? It, it says $49 next to the eyeshadow, but it doesn't have a different price for the face powder duo. So I'm going to guess that they're both $49, but I, I don't know, but man, it's so pretty. Suva Beauty has revealed a new palette. It's the Toppers palette. There are highlight toppers to transform your looks. It contains four dewy holographic shades for $35. It looks really pretty. It looks really cool, but I, I don't mind holographic. I have a holographic-ish type of color glitter on my eye right now, but it's not my go-to. And so, although this is beautiful, this is not something that I would use regularly, so I would not buy this. Available now, Kaja has released a Strawberry Rose Balmy Bento and Gloss Shot Hydrating Lip Glosses. Now this looks really, really pretty. I feel like maybe we spoke about the Kaja Lip, the Bento box, maybe it looks really nice but i have a lot of lip moisturizer and lip balms i i it's in trend though and in fact that lip gloss packaging looks very similar to the tower 28 one i have a tower 28 um milky lip lip jelly and so for now i'm going to stick to that one because i already have it these lip glosses are 16 dollars, and the bento lip balm is 17 dollars, so they're pretty affordable but i think i'm going to pass on these but that lip gloss does seem interesting it is it is totally up my alley but for now i am going to pass on that a new spring collection revealed by chantacale chantacale i don't know how to say that it's a butterfly eye quartet compact with four shimmering eyeshadows and some lipsticks. 
super pretty packaging. I love the way that butterfly looks in that compact. It looks really, really beautiful, but I'm going to say that I would not buy this. Although I'm, I appreciate that they are donating some of their, some of the proceeds to, it supports 40 acres of native habitat for butterflies and other pollinators in California Central Valley. So I think that's really neat. But as far as purchasing and adding to my collection, I'm going to pass on it. But very neat. Very neat. Mac revealed their spring 2021 collection. Sakura inspired the Black Cherry collection. This is a really pretty collection. I love the cherry blossom look to this packaging. I have said it before, Mac is not my go-to brand at all, but those blushes do look really pretty. The collection includes lipsticks, lip balms, blushes, um, a Fix Plus setting spray, lashes, eyeliners, and mascara. Now I do use MAC Fix Plus, and this is available when I need to refill my MAC Fix Plus, I would buy it. But otherwise, I, I mean, maybe would consider buying one of those blushes, but it's not high on the list. I'm interested in some other blushes I'm currently on my list. So no, I would not buy it. I'm gonna say no. Jouer has new primers. They have a anti-aging moisture primer and an anti-blemish matte primer that are $34 each. That moisture primer seems pretty nice. I really do like Jouer products. I don't have enough Jouer products, but I do like their products. That is something that I would really consider. Would I buy it? Maybe, maybe. Will I actually buy it? Maybe not, unless I run out of primers, but I have a whole slew of primers that I'm trying to get through, so not anytime soon. Dominique Cosmetics revealed their Transitions palette, 15 long-wearing, blendable colors that can define, contour, brighten, highlight, and more for $48. I think this is really nice and really neat. I like the layout of it. I like that they're all matte. I love that they're selling point is to be used for all types of things like contour and you know defining and things like that. Would I buy this? Probably not. I don't generally buy all matte palettes and I feel like if I did buy an all matte palette I would probably buy a more affordable one but I do like Dominique Cosmetics actually this eye look is a Dominique Cosmetics eye look. So I do like the products or the one eyeshadow palette that I have tried and I'm sure that this is beautiful and blendable and you know the swatches look really nice but um, it's not on my radar. Makeup Revolution is releasing Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealers. Looks very neat. Those eye sponge reminds me of a little bit of the Maybelline concealer, but I feel like, is it Charlotte Tilbury has something very similar to this is what it looks like. And for $10 each, that's pretty neat and something I would consider using. They are illuminating, so that part of it makes me kind of scared, but you know, I have drier eyes, so maybe the illumination would help make my eyes look a little less dry. So if I came across this, I think yes, that I would try this out for $10. I think that I would definitely try it out. Now the colors, how many colors? They have 15 shades, which is not a huge shade range. You know, it, they do have a variety from what I can tell, including it seems like a color that looks almost like a neutralizing orange shade, but it's just one of the regular shades. So, you know, something I definitely would consider if I'm at. What retailers have this, Ulta? And they had it? I would pick it up for sure. Danessa Myricks has revealed some new shades for their liquid shadows that can be used uh, alone or as toppers or duochrome. And so they are showcasing it, it's revealed, it's coming out in the Trend Mood box. Looks pretty neat. This is nothing that I would buy. It's a little bit too similar to that holographic Suva Beauty that I talked about. It's a, it's a little bit too much for me, but it looks really pretty. Morphe revealed a foundation, the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation, available in 40 shades for $20, containing hyaluronic acid, pore blurring pigments, they claim it to be natural, buildable coverage, long wearing, sweat proof, transfer proof, free of oils, fragrances, and parabens. And it's a luxe formula created in Italy. I, I'm, I am interested in this. I feel like I wanna see some reviews on it and see what it looks like on others before I make the purchase. I also like the brush. I think the brush looks very nice. And a foundation for $20 is definitely very affordable. It doesn't say here how much 
the brush is, and then they have a microfiber beauty sponge that they'll also be releasing, but definitely something that I would consider. Revealed, off-white, and a more Pacific. It includes the protection box. It targets specific skin concerns relating to wearing masks during ongoing COVID pandemic, including cotton pads, soothing and hydrating sheet mask, UV protection, tone up cushion and moisturizing lip balm, a cloth mask and strap for everyday convenient wear. It's supposed to be a play off a traditional Korean game, Yut Nori. I mean, that's, I, I like what it, what it's for but this is not something that interests me i did battle maskne and i will have a video upcoming on my maskne journey and so i feel pretty happy with where i'm at with that and so i don't feel like i need this but you know cool i guess Colored Rain revealed a signature brush collection new lip lacquers and new matte bronzers. I don't know that I've tried any Colored Rain products. And of all of these products, I am most interested in ooh, the matte bronzers, but maybe the lip lacquers. I love the names of the lip lacquers. I love that one of the lip lacquers is Veronica. That's my sister's name. And one of them is Anne, A-N-N, -N, which is my middle name. So I, that's really cool to me. And I would buy the lip lockers simply for those names. Probably Veronica over Anne. I like the color more, but um, still really neat. I like that. I like that. Um, but their bronzers look really nice. And, you know, I only see two shades kind of in passing of the colors. So I don't know what the full range looks like. It did say, I think, six colors of matte bronzers. So I'd like to see what all six look like. But the lip lacquers, ooh, I don't have a price. Or the bronzers, I don't have a price. They only have prices for all of the brushes, which are really affordable. Yes, I would consider the lip lacquers and the bronzers. And only because I would consider the lip lac lacquer because of the name. And then if they had like some free shipping going on, then I'd probably buy a bronzer along with it. So I'll keep you posted because that's really neat. I like that. Trend Mood Box will also contain True Botanicals, the Chibula, Chibula, Chibella, Chibula, whatever, Active Immunity Serum. It's an anti-aging serum designed to strengthen the skin's immunity to prevent, protect, and correct all signs of aging. Wow. This serum is $90. I wonder how much the Trend Mood box will be. Hmm. I need to see what all of it looks like before I make a decision on that. I'm going to pass on the serum, but maybe if the Trend Mood box is really great and affordable, which usually it is, then maybe, but... You know, for now, skip. Milk Makeup revealed their new and improved Sunshine Skin Tint SPF 30. Very cool, 14 adaptable shades for $42. Yeah, no, probably not. I wanna try more milk products, but I don't wanna spend $42 on this product. It is clean, silicone-free, skin tint that provides weightless light coverage, moisturizes with natural oils for a dewy finish, and it protects with coral reef safe broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen, which is really nice. All of this sounds really, really nice, but I'm going to say pass. P. Louise revealed a Valentine's Day collection of love tapes. Oh my gosh, this packaging is so cute. This is super cute. I think I'm a sucker for the packaging. Would I buy it? No, I'm not gonna buy it, but it's cute, it's cute. And there's three mini cassette palettes with eight shades each. So it's a cute, I like the. I like that. Love mixtapes. Well, well played P. Louise, well played. OGX Beauty is also going to be in the Trend Mood box. Let's see, this is a shampoo infused with keratin and conditioner, a shampoo and conditioner set. Also included will be their Mir Miracle Gloss Smoothing Spray. Would I buy it? Probably not. Who knows, maybe I'll, I buy random shampoos and conditioners, conditioners. So if I see it in the drugstore, maybe one day, maybe, maybe, but it's not on my list. Kylie Skin has new minis set celebrating the season of love with a new eight piece mini set. It has mini products of the vitamin C serum, vanilla milk toner, face moisturizer, foaming face wash, coconut body scrub, coconut body, body lotion, eye cream, walnut face scrub. This mini set of eight products is $85. 
I, I don't buy a lot of Kylie products or Kardashian products, so no, I would not buy it. A new hair care brand spotted inside of Target, Anomaly Hair Care by the beautiful Priyanka Chopra. I don't know who that is. Their launch includes shampoos and conditioners, a dry shampoo, and a deep conditioning treatment mask. Same goes, if I run across it while I'm at Target, I might try a new product. I always like trying new dry shampoos, so maybe. It appears as if all of their products are $5.99, so with that price point, definitely. Um, it'd be interest I'd be interested to see if their dry shampoo is still $5.99. Um, and a deep conditioning treatment mask. I'm always game for a new treatment mask. Beauty Blender revealed a new addition to their Bounce Complexion, a soft focus gemstone setting powder. It's a silky setting powder that smooths and locks makeup in place for an airbrushed finish. No confirmation on shades and prices. Seems pretty neat. I don't think I ever tried their foundation, so I would like to try a sample of this, but I'm not gonna purchase it. Diana Madison Beauty, available now is their Glowette Kukui Oil Body Polish. Man, I can't talk today. It's a body oil that rejuvenates and brings the skin's natural glow to the surface. $57, 100 mLs. Nope, <laughs> I'm sure you knew that already. I'm not gonna buy a bunch of skincare products and such. ColourPop revealed a Valentine's Day collection. Super cute. I believe it already went on sale and I didn't buy any of it, but they came out with this cute little mirror and I do want that mirror so bad. Um, I also love the packaging of the blush. I would like to say that at some point I would like to get that mirror and one of the blushes. Maybe one of the five pan eyeshadows, but only if I'm just adding to cart. But really, really, really what I want is one of the blushes and the mirrors. Would I buy it? Hopefully. We'll see. I think a lot of it sold out. I haven't even checked. Urban Decay revealed a new naked palette. Their Wild West palette. 12 desert inspired neutral eyeshadows, including mattes, metallics, and shimmers. Inspired by California's deserts, Joshua trees, and endless skies. For $49 will be available February 8th. This is a pretty palette. I don't own any naked palettes. I used to own the naked two or the Naked 3. I don't even remember which one I used to own, but I'm pretty sure that I decluttered it. Pretty sure. So I have, and that was the only Naked palette I ever had. I really was interested in the Naked Heat, but I never bought it. And I like that this one has the little bits of teal in it. That makes it really pretty. And I love the snake skin look. I think it looks so cool with the colors that it has. I don't know. I like, I have a, like Urban Decay was one of my first, first loves. I had I always purchased their palette releases, their Book of Shadow releases, and in my eyeshadow declutter, I finally let go of a lot of those palettes that are years and years and years old. And I never got into Urban Decay eyeshadows again, and I, I don't know, I don't know. But, but, this is the most intriguing one for me in a while, maybe, maybe, there's, it's a high maybe. Ofra Cosmetics released their Ride or Die collection. It includes blushers, bronzer plus blush into one pan. I think that's pretty neat. And liquid blushes, which is, wow, liquid blushes. Maybe, I don't have a lot of Ofra products. I'd be interested to see what, I know that I do have a highlighter. I don't know if I have a bronzer or a blush from Ofra. And I do like the highlighter that I have. And I'd be interested to explore more of the Ofra products. The blushers are $29. The liquid blushes are $15. And if you buy the duos that go together, they're $35. Not bad. I think that if I did it, I would do one of the duos and spend the $35 for the blusher and the liquid blush. Um, might as well try it all out. So. Definitely, would I buy it? I would like to buy it. Will I actually buy it? Probably not, but I, I, would, I would, if I could, I would. And that'd be on one of the things on my list, yes. Off Cosmetics, celebrating the Lunar New Year. They are really seen, or it's available now. A Prime and Set Kit, a Sweetheart Hydrating Lipstick Kit. The Prime and Set Kit for 18, and the Hydrating Lipstick Kit for $22. And then also each lipstick is sold individually for $6.
I would consider buying the Prime and Set kit because those, those two prime, like the Poreless Putty Primer and the Halo Glow Setting Powder, I already use in my daily routine. Now, I don't know if my, mm, the glow powder is in medium, but it is, it is in medium. So it would, I, it would be worth it for me to do that. And then I would get that powder brush and then it looks really nice. I really like the look of the hydrating lipstick kits, but I probably wouldn't purchase it. I might, I might consider purchasing a um, hydrating lipstick, but not the whole set. So the whole set, definitely a no. One, maybe. And the little prime and set kit, I would definitely consider it. I'm not gonna go out and buy it, but if I saw it in stores and I was running low on one of my products, then I would definitely consider it. That's cute. Is it by Rito? Revealed an eyeshadow palette. A very colorful eyeshadow palette with 18 shades, including shimmery, lilac, purple, copper red, soft matte, navy, and more for $96. Very cool, but very colorful and you know, whatever colorful eyeshadows I already own is a, probably about how far I'll go. Um, like the Urban Decay that had like a, you know, a couple bluish greens I can do, but this Kaleidoscope is a little bit much for me. It's really pretty, but I, it's a no for me. Real Techniques Brush Collection. Lots of brushes. A Kabuki, a primer brush, complexion brush, finishing brush, sculpt blush brush, facial toning bar, eye brush trio, luxe highlighter brush. Those are really pretty brushes. I do like the Real Technique brushes. Oh, I like their little soft glam trio, eye brush trio, and it's $12.99. I would consider that one if I found it in stores. It has three eye, eye brushes, so, and it is $12.99, so I would consider that. All of these brushes range from $8.99 to $12.99. It's very pretty. It's a, it's a pretty set. I like it. Charlotte Tilbury revealed a new product, the Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial, a two-in-one miracle facial in a tube with exfolactive and glycolic acid to resurface, hydrate, and add radiance for an instant glow. Wow, that sounds amazing. There's no price though. I'm sure it's really pricey. I would love a sample of this, but then I'd be afraid because what if I love it and then I'd want to buy it and home oh boy. Mented Cosmetics is available at Ulta. It looks like some eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, blushes, and such. It looks like a neat brand. It's a brand I've not heard of before. Prices range from $12 to $30. $30 for their every night eyeshadow palette and their foundation stick um, on the higher end of the price points. And the lower end for 12, you can get a lipstick. Nope, just kidding. You can get a lip liner and a lip treatment. I like the packaging. It's very simple, very sleek. It's a neat brand, not on my radar to purchase, so I'm gonna say no on that. Lunar Beauty revealed their new product are lashes. Each set of lashes is $15, or you can get the bundle with the four styles for $45. I don't use lashes very often. It's definitely not on my radar. I use um, inexpensive drugstore lashes when I do use lashes. They look neat, but um, a, a big pass for me. A sneak peek of a new lip product from Too Faced, Lady Balls Lipstick. I'm not going to lie, when I saw this the first time come up on my feed, the packaging, the way, there's something about it. Now, I have not purchased Too Faced products in a while. It's been a while. I have not, nothing has been intriguing enough. I feel like the last thing I bought from Too Faced was their peach palette. And that's, that was a long time ago. So I don't feel like I've really purchased anything since then, but there is something about this Lady Balls lipstick that has me thinking that I might need to have one. Now, it looks like they don't have, oh, 12 shades, good. This is something I would highly, highly, highly consider, which is very weird because I haven't purchased Too Faced in a long time, but maybe this, maybe this is it. Milk Makeup revealed a new product, Color Chalks. These are handmade, glide onto eyelid, cheeks, lips, or beyond for buildable, shimmery payoff. Oh, they look like those like color sticks, like chalk sticks. I guess that's what it's meant to make, like color chalks. Okay, cool. 
Um, 14 shades, $18 each. Yeah, um, no, I wouldn't buy this. This is too, uh, too different for me. I feel like I don't even know what I would do with this. But neat, I the packaging, it's very unique, very different, you know, so way to go Milk Makeup, but I'm gonna say no. I do wanna try a lot of Milk Makeup products, but this is not, not one of them. Oh, I saw this pop up, uh, a couple of things. One, now at Sephora, Westman, Tillier, I hope I said that right, um, and LYS Beauty. And so I have always wanted to try Westman Tellier. I don't know that I'm saying it. It is a pricey brand, so no. It is a pricey brand though, so I will not be purchasing anything. However, the LYS Beauty, which is a clean brand of color cosmetics, um, and it's a black owned beauty brand, they, I like this triangular thing they have going on with their like blushes and bronzers, and I am interested. I am interested in this brand, and their brushes look really neat, so, you know, I, maybe, maybe, if, if, I were to come across it at a Sephora when I'm there, I feel like I would definitely purchase um, at least something, you know, a blush or bronzer or something. The Westman, Westman Tillier, um, I probably will pass for a while because it is it is pricey and girls on a budget. Milk Makeup also relieved their electric glossy lip plumper. I don't really care for lip plumpers. They are... Uh, are let's see releasing six sheer tints for $25 each so they look really cute I like those little squeezy tubes and they look super glossy in the you know swatch product shots but I do not care for lip plumpers um so pass Ugh. <sighs> I shouldn't do that Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics had a Valentine's Day launch for a Valentine's Day capsule and they had four sets, a lip locked set, a light of my life set, a self love starter kit set, and for the love of makeup set. It was very secretive. Um, like you didn't really know what you were getting or like you knew that there would be like three lip products and like two highlighters and she kind of revealed some of it. So it, this went available on February 5th um, at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, so my time, and you better believe I was there logging on trying to purchase this. I wanted for the Love of Makeup set, which is their bigger set that had everything, had it in my basket, trying to check out, and as I'm trying to check out, it was gone. So I'm really disappointed in how that was the configuration of her website in that it was in my cart and then it was gone. So I feel like there needs to be a better way. Like don't tell me it's in my car and while I'm in the process of paying for it, tell me it's sold out. You know, like that was super disappointing. Now it's not on Jaclyn Hill, you know, it's on the website. They are gonna try to make it better, but you know, it's as a consumer, that was just really disappointing to, to have it right there and then be gone. And so that happened. So I went back and tried to get the self love starter kit I think it was that one. Was it the self-love? Yes. Yes. Tried to get the self-love starter kit. Same thing happened. So I gave up and I didn't buy anything else. And so, yeah. Would I buy it? Yes, I would have. But did I? No. I was not one of the lucky ones to, to get this. And yes, I am disappointed. Again, no shade to Jaclyn Hill. Um, it was... Congratulations for the release. I'm just, I'm a bitter Betty because I didn't get one. And so I think I'm allowed. I think I'm allowed. Jouet Cosmetics revealed their Valentine's Day collection of new lip products, a Bear Rose lip kit and a matte balm. I do really thoroughly enjoy their Rose lip balm. I have one already. Um, I don't need this though because I already have it, but this is really pretty. I think it's a really nice little gift, a little set here, you know, the little lip liner um, and the sh shine balm, um, I think is really neat. But I, like I said, I already have the rose shine balm, so, and I have plenty of lip liners, but the, and the matte balm seems really nice, an ultra hydrating universal lip balm for lips that are perfectly nourished without the high shine glossy look for $20. I think that's neat, but I, li I like the shine, so. Um, I'm gonna pass on the matte balm, and because I already have the Shine Balm Duo, I'm gonna pass on the other lip kit. So, but very nice, Jue, very nice. KKW Beauty revealed the Matte Mauve Collection that includes a pressed powder palette for $45, and Mauve Matte Lipsticks for $18, Mauve Lip Liners for $12, and Mauve Blush 
for $28. And then also the Matte Honey Collection, which also includes the pressed powder palette, matte lipsticks, lip liners, and blushes. So this is actually a really pretty collection, really pretty. I really love my KKW lip liner. And so I would consider that. And one of these lipstick bullets from the color that I can tell, like in the rose tones or the mauve tones, the darkest one, I'm really liking that color. So I would really consider that lipstick and the matching lip liner because I imagine that they're gonna be having like a coordinating, yeah, mauve three is the mid-tone warm rose lipstick and mauve three is their deepened mauve rose lip liner. Um, so I would consider it because you know, but the lipstick 18, lip liner 12, be spending $30. Um, but for sure that lip liner, maybe. Uh, so maybe, maybe the lip liner, just because I really like her lip liners. But the rest of the collection, I, I'll pass on. Marc Jacobs Beauty revealed the new The Cafe collection. This is really pretty. So it includes extra shot caffeine concealer and foundation and an Omega three powder blush bronze highlight palette and a highlighter matte gel eye crayons is what the whole collection um, includes. I think the bronzer blush highlighter trios look really neat. I'm really, really neat. And I love the packaging that like marbleized, you know, like you put creamer in your coffee and it kind of marbleizes. So I think that's really neat. Um, but the one thing that's most intriguing to me out of this collection is I think the concealer. I want to see what people are saying about this concealer and foundation though, because let's see. Oh, it's a concealer and foundation. It's a two in one. Oh, in 30 shades, $39. Wow, $39. Yeah. I want to see what people say about this first, but I would consider it. I do like Marc Jacobs products. So um, a big maybe. Would I buy it if I had the resources? Yes, I would buy the Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation and the 3-in-1 Bronze Highlighting Palette thingies. Um, will I actually buy it? Um, maybe the Concealer Foundation. Probably not the Blush Bronze Highlight Palettes unless they go on sale one day in the future. Um, but maybe that concealer foundation. Fenty Skin revealed a Flash Nap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. Lightweight, non-greasy cooling gel, instantly hydrates, restores and soothes, fast absorbing, reduces look of fine lines and wrinkles, blobby, blobby, blobby. $32 or $42 if you purchase it with the massaging tool. That's pretty neat. I have eye creams I need to get through. So for some products, I'm trying to empty things out. So I, I won't purchase this, but in the very future, if I run out of eye cream, maybe I'd consider it. And if I did, I think I would buy it with the tool um, to try that out. ColourPop revealed their Make It Black collection. For the Pull It For Change Impact Fund, they're raising five million to support black businesses. So their collection includes an eyeshadow palette, a lippy sticks, cream gel liners, and Super Shock shadows. So I was really happy to see this. I think the packaging is stunning. And I really, I really like what they did here. Now, I don't like their eyeshadow palette colors. I don't like the colors for me. They're a little too bright, but I do like their Super Shock shadows and I do like their lippy sticks. Would I buy it? Maybe, but right now it's not on my list to buy things. I have other color pop products that I'm um, leaning towards, but I do like the, the Super Shock shadows. I'm always a fan of the Super Shock shadows, particularly that rosy one I think is calling my name. Um, so maybe, maybe, you know, if it doesn't sell out, it's something I would consider, but right now it's not like the top of my list. It's not on the top of my list. Makeup Eraser revealed a new ride or die seven day makeup eraser set for $25. Um, that's a cute little set for um, cleaning off your makeup. I don't have any makeup erasers. I like that this one comes with a little laundry book bag so you can just stick them in there and throw them in the laundry. So that's really cute. And that it's a seven day. So you do your seven days, put it in the little bag and throw it in the wash. I mean, I do my laundry once a week. So like that would be a perfect set um, for me. So it's something I'd consider. I feel like you can purchase other makeup eraser type 
towels for cleaning your makeup that are more affordable. Um, but this would be something cute if I was looking for, if I, you know, this would be a good gift to give, I think also. So super cute. Um, would I buy it? I don't know. I don't know that it, it's high on my list, but I'd consider it one day. It's cute. That's cute. Ooh, V revealed some new stuff. V, even just an hour ago, some blushes. Her sunset blushes. So I love um, Jamie Jenna Vive. And so she came out with her Vive collection and an eyeshadow palette and um, highlighters and such. And it's a beautiful collection. And so I her packaging and the pigments, it just looks so beautiful. And um, it's so expensive though. And so I, I haven't purchased any of the Vive products, but the blushes, this, this packaging looks so, so pretty. I want to try her brand. I will not be purchasing this yet. I, I'm trying to stay, like I'm getting into blushes, but I need I need to hold my horses a little bit. Um, they look really beautiful. Um, they're showcasing five colors. I don't know if that's all that will be coming out because um, it's just like a new reveal, but congratulations, it, it's really pretty and it looks really neat. And you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Jenna Genevieve, maybe. And that's it for today. Okay, so yeah, um, I felt like it was going to be longer, although this video seems like it was also very long, so I don't know where we're at in this. Uh, I knew that there was a few things to talk about, like the Jocelyn Cosmetics thing, because I was going to purchase it, that it didn't work out for me. Um, and there's a few things that I came across today that I hadn't seen come up in, on my Instagram feed. So I was happy to come across them this time, including this Vive um, product, which just popped, I mean, it posted an hour ago. So I wasn't on my phone an hour ago. I was filming this look. So um, very neat. But yeah, that's it for my Would I Buy It series. Um, I'm, I'm itching to buy stuff is what it is. I want to go buy all of the, all the stuff. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you've not had the opportunity to subscribe to my channel, now would be the time to do it. Like this video, share it with your friends, and ring that notification bell. You'll be notified weekly of my newest uploads, including this look coming up on Friday. So you want to, you want to, you know, subscribe, ring that notification bell. You'll be notified so you, you can see what I did here. Right? Yeah? I'm tired. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.